Good morning, everybody. How are you? Demi Kiz, as always. Morning, everybody. It's Demi Keys as always. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how we can elevate ourselves from a gray area. I'm speaking this from what I see, what I see, what is going on. I'm bending down because I'm not that, I'm not feeling very well. Thank you very much. The news I got today, you know, the lady I talked about, Enrica Penita who was meant to have a deal for the coffee factory. That, that, that deal was taken to the parliament, was expelled. So that one is uh, victory. That is victory number one. But we know what happens in Uganda, that such things, they happen. Then eventually they seal the deal behind, behind the scenes. So we hope that Paneta and Erika will not be given that deal because she still has to account for the hospital of Ruboa. Where is the money? What happened? 1.4 trillion shillings is not, is not little. It's a lot of money and we borrowed that money from somewhere else. So fellow Ugandans, we need to elevate ourselves from gray area. When I talk about gray area, I'm not going to make friends today. Because the great area we see in, we are national unity platform, we are a political party. And today is the reason I'm going to be talking about we are a political party, morning Pam Kawa. So if we are a political party, there is some political standards we must deliver. Not everybody can deliver, but across our NU political party. We have to deliver standards that people they look at and say, wow, that is a political party. This is exactly what you saw what happened that when our president was in Geneva, they introduced him as the leader, as the president of the NUP, and what we stand for. So information matters a lot wherever we go. So we have to elevate ourselves from the gray area. For a start, we are a political party. Where have we got to elevate ourselves? From amateurism to professionalism. It's not an insult, but it is a fact. Second, from disorganization to organization. Those two words, they act a lot. Our opponent is fighting us a lot, a lot to see that we stay amateur, to see that we stay disorganized. When we become professional, there is a, the word professional, you can see that when we are professional, it's like NUP, we've got offices, you've got departments, you need this information is out, the website is updated, the telephone call support is there, everything professional. We have to come away from where we have been, that people power, all this, it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. We have to elevate ourselves from those gray areas. When our president was in Geneva, they are looking at Bobby Wine as the president as one person. But what they are looking at, who are those people surrounding him? When he was in Geneva, there are so many businessmen 
who wants to tie deals with him. Those are the people who can help us to get in power in one way or the other. This is why you see Museveni is uh, surrounded by this man, Buffet. This is why you see these Panita and Rika, they come in. This so-called we call mid mafia because they are what they do in Alim. They are surrounding. They have got business people that who want business in Uganda. There is always business in Uganda. So when you are a leader, they see you as a leader. They exempt you. But they look at your team. Who are these people we can speak to? Because you were president, you were a leader. For you, they are not going to involve you in those deals. But they want to speak to your team, PR team, your advisor, your speech. They need to speak to those people so that they can cut the deal. Those who live in the UK, you've seen in pictures of this Indian chancellor, but the way he went on and met other people. So those are political positions that they take, the, they appoint Indians, and then they will do, and then they will cut the deals. So we need to elevate ourselves, fellow Ugandans, from amateurism to professional. We are no longer amateur. We are NUP. We are the second biggest party in Uganda, and we have delivered, we have member of parliament. Therefore, we need to elevate ourselves from that is a gray area for us to get power we have to come away from that gray area this is why nrm is trying very very much to keep us in that gray area this is why nrm is trying very much to pay all the bloggers to pay all the people to silence nup to pay those who can speak on their behalf. This is because they want us to stay in that gray area. So it is upon us to elevate ourselves that we come out from the gray area because that gray area is like, this is why most NUP members, they say diversion, diversion, diversion. That is a gray area we need to come away. We have to leave it to other people, but we need to be professional. We had our president, he went to Geneva. This is how we are going to become professional. We want to, uh, we had our president who went to Geneva and this is what happened. To the political establishment. He received massive support across the country and then started the People Trans Power Movement the People Power in 2017 movement. to encourage, young, to encourage Ugandans young Ugandans to get involved in politics. Involved in politics. Since, politics. Then, Since then, he's been arrested, tortured, arrested, subjected, subjected to various subjected other forms of abuse forms and, harassment. and harassment. His supporters and, and friends have been, targeted, friends by have been targeted by the government, with government, government, some killed and others killed abducted and tortured. And tortured. Bobby Wine was a presidential Wine candidate a presidential in Uganda's candidate most recent Uganda's election, most recent which has been described as the most violent and least fair and least in the country's fair. history. He was placed under house arrest, under denied, arrest access denied access to food or water. Food or now, water. I see that on social now media there's tremendous media, excitement there's tremendous that excitement. you're here at the United that Nations here and here that your followers that refer followers to you as Mr. President. You, as Mr. you have President. the floor. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Thank you. So listen, that is our president in Geneva. Museven has never been invited in Geneva. I find that video clip on Facebook. So how many people have you taken it on? How many people are we going to stay in the gray area? He was in the Geneva. He was in Geneva. Have you taken the contents of those two words? How they have introduced him? How they have talked about our NUP? That is a clip NRM doesn't want to see. That is a clip for you to make an argument that when you talk about NUP, don't call us a terrorist. Don't call us rumpins. Don't call us people who come and use vulgar language, who come and they uh, use the abusive language, who come and they uh, just uh, use colorful language. Yes, it can be. But these are the things we need to elevate ourselves. Bobby Wine against the Sweet Zealand at Saki Deo. He has been in Sweet Zealand a long journey. He has sat among, the, among a delegation of people not from his background. You don't know how it feels. One day I had a man that he, uh, used, I used to look after, the richest man in Bromley, number three in the UK. It is on record. 
But when he died, they forced me to attend his funeral. I had refused. But when I was there, I was among celebrities. I was the only black person. And I had refused to go and attend. But the, the wife said to me, if you don't attend, the party will not like it. You have to attend, please, please, please. They begged me, and I had to go. So look at Bobby Wine. He's in Geneva, sitting there. He didn't expect it to get there. Man from ghetto. Sitting among, yes, he's comfortable, but there is a way you feel, however much they make you feel comfortable. You are alone. You are standing on your own. He goes that journey. He goes to Geneva. He tells Uganda. He takes the ghetto to Geneva. He has taken the ghetto to, uh, ghetto to the parliament, ghetto to Geneva. And you guys, he comes from there. And what you choose is to go para para. He's going to go and fight. Why are we going that way? Gray area. That is where NRM wants us. Let us be professional. Let us talk about this Bobby Wine. He was in Geneva. I showed it a clip to somebody from Nigeria. She watched it for 12 minutes, all from A to Z. And next time she had goosebumps all over. But you, you are NUP. We are not talking about Bobby Wine going to Geneva. We need to become professional. Get away from those fights. Those fights will, 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 will what? Will fight themselves. I have a photo here that has divided so many, and I know many people, you are not going to, to allow it. You are not going to be happy. But I have to show it to you. I have a photo that has divided so many people. That is a photo. When you talk about politics, we are not going to be fighting, fighting, fighting as people. They want it. This is a photo that has made people even, they don't, they don't know about politics. We are not going to be fighting. Politics, it's about ideas. It's about our ideology. Why would you waste time fighting Zake? In politics, what do you want? Do you want Museveni who says, I'm going to crush NUP? What picture do you want to paint that NUP when we come in power? What are we going to be? Why do you go, why, what politics? Parliament is, it comes from the word pare, which is French. It is French. It is pare from French. So if it is in French, it, it means that we are going to talk, it is happy, we are going to talk and interact. So when we go in the parliament, we are not going to punch people unless it needs to be like a Toji Kwatako. But we are going to exchange ideas. We are going, so in that, I wonder, I said to you, politics is sometimes is about pretense. You have to sit side by side. You have to look at each other. We cannot isolate ourselves unless we are not about politics. If we are about politics, we are going to sit with other people. But what matters, this is what matters. This is about ideology. When NRM comes and says, Bonnava Somme, Bonaba Some, for us we are going to we are going to we are going to answer this way. We are going to say our ideology, our idea about education is going to be eco, is going to be affordable, accessible, quality, and universal. Then NRM, they come and say, the health is going to be exemption. It's only NRM, they are going to pay to go abroad for treatment. Oranya will go abroad. For us, our ideology, our main key point, they are going to be equal access to education and health. Then NRM is going to say job creation. Job creation, they will say nepotism. If you are not NRM, if you are not from Western Uganda, if you are not related to Museveni, you are not going to have jobs. Then NUP, for us, we are going to say we create jobs for everybody because there is right for for job and everybody should be working. So we are going to create jobs. We are going to help younger entrepreneurs. Then NRM is going to say that housing, 
you can see they are building villas in Munyonyo, wherever. For us, we are NUP, we are going to say we are going to build affordable houses. The people, they will be mean tested, they will be having affordable. We are going to build the social housing. Then the NRM is going to say all oh, uh, transportation. We are going to take uh, the border of uh, Oranya in Chopa. Uh, Father Rukudo is sick, is going to be taken in Chopa. No, we are going to say we are going to build the roads everywhere. They will be accessible, feeder roads in the villages everywhere. Transportation will be for everybody. And then we are going to say corruption. We are going to tackle corruption. That is what NUP manifesto says, that they are going to recover assets and everything. So that is the political debate that we should have. It should not be like a karakase, tarakase, karakata, karakata. It should not be like that. Let him say when he says, I'm going to crush people. You say you cannot crush people because you're a servant. You cannot crush. So the, poli the politics, we have to come away from that gray area. That gray area, we need to become professional. You don't need to go to school. When you come from that gray area, you need to be organized. Where do I go for information? That is what they call organization. Where do you stand? When any issue comes for security, is Derek Onyeko is going to speak? When any issue comes for, for education, Hanifa Nabukera is he going to speak? When any issue in the parliament, how is our leader of opposition going to select who is going to speak? When anything comes from Konsase, any corruption, how is Joel going to handle that? So it shouldn't be that we are focusing on one person. This is why all the time I keep on posting this. Posting. These are advisory positions that we have to look at. Who is the commissioner? Who is the PAC? Baneo no msa janga simuri la loya wa fuama ni segona. Ali kupa kaya tusubizo tuletera tatuletera. Tulina anku tulina anku nyingi lida tulina anku nyingi foreign tulina. You have to go back numbers and sewungu but kwa advisory to hold. Any NRA manifesto. Kati tulina okubera ebintu ebionga we are familiar. Until we become familiar, then that is what they call professional. Because you are no longer arguing with other people. This is a list of our good. Of our list of our shadow ministers. Do you care about that? This is where I go. On their Twitter, on their Facebook. To check on them but as sometimes it is become embarrassing that people they don't care so when we talk about all this i'm talking about we need right to information fellow ugandans i keep on playing this clip and i you know when Kati every week in Chidam, in Chidera Kuchi Somesa Paka Chinaba Yingra Mutu, we need to go back in the villages. Twata go to the Mokuya around to Mialo, around to Mialo, Kabola, Yamayambos and Kampala to me. We need to encourage them and remind them that guess what? Around Vasiwa, find a valley at Dana, the seven Alimukuta, and two. So that people know. They know it's question and answer. I'm not going to give a lot of time to people who are not. Asking me questions. Nyagala question. My request is on Friday. We better. All right. Thanks, Patricia Comrade. So I keep on playing that clip because I know what it means. There is our constitution says right. We have right to information. Article forty one. One, so 41 and one, we have to access information. And if we have to access, we have to give information. This is what you, you see what happened definitely in Oranya. There's been lack of information. The government is entitled to give us information. The president is meant to hold a press conference every week. So if we want to become professional like any UP we are, we must have a, a press conference every week. So when you look at information that clip by Comrade Patricia, she's telling you go back to the villages. Be professional. Forget about that, that you have the vote. Be professional. Go. Have you got mobilizers on the village? Have you got the outreach? Have you got the number to contact? 
Whom do you speak to? Have you got, do you evaluate? Have you got the numbers on the village? We can say kunga, kunga, kunga. Kunga is a starting button. But when we say kunga is starting button, if you want to become professional, what have you done? Where are your mobilizers? Have you got mobilizers on the car, on the ground? Have you gone to the village to tell people? This is where NRM is getting votes. This is where people, they don't know what is they are entitled for. They don't know they're entitled to free education or affordable or quality or universal. They don't know that. They don't know that they are entitled for health. Look at the people in Northern Uganda. They are complaining about money. It didn't reach them. Lack of information. NUP says I'm going to fight ignorance. So if we are all ignorant, let us share information. I share comrades who share this, uh, this uh, video. I share, uh, I appreciate comrades who have been here to who are who do lives this morning i would descend to sala sala kamula peri peri this is the woman i saw in 2209 in the uk convention outside there were three people and she used to beg people don't join don't join those what convention unfortunately i passed her and i went in but today she said something that i want people to know she said that Museveni is not clever. People, they lack information. You cannot make Museveni that he's doing something wrong and then you justify it as being clever. No, that is being a coward. Museveni is not clever. You, so Sarah Piripiri was explaining that clearly. We need to know Museveni has never been clever. He's only abusing the system. That is the word we need to know clarity. So information is power. We need to get to the information to the people, we like it or not. If we want to come out of that gray area, people, they need to know their rights. They need to know what we are going to offer. People, they need to know when we, NUP, we stand. We stand. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen Prezo. I was going to put it again because people, they don't want it. Politics abroad. They look at this, that these people, if they want to get into, into, into power, I was going to put it out. So this is what they see in the village. This is what they want. No one wants to fight. This is how we can win over people. This is how we can attract people. In the village, we have to make a show. Why do you think Museven is fighting tooth and nail to see that he's got a handshake with the Bobby Wine? You explain to me. When we talk about politics, we are going to come away from that gray area. We have our what? We don't like those people. Oh, we never like those people. But at somehow, somewhere, we have to pretend you have to put on another show. If we insist that we are not good, no one wants boxers. If you want boxers, go in the boxing ring. But if you want politics, you must be able to show your political standards. Remember our president when he went to Geneva. When, when he went to Geneva, how did he dress? He dressed to impress. How did he, our president, how, how, so you want to see? That is a photo he was in Geneva. And what's the difference with this photo? That is Bobby Wine with an artist. So if you are going to Geneva, this is how you should dress. The way he dressed, the way he stood, the way he spoke. So this is what is what we need to sell to the people in the villages. And people, they want to see that. People, they don't want to see. They want us to discuss on political matters, as I have explained to you. Museveni waja enare mnekugamba bo naba some. Mugambe enti no, NUP is going to bring equality A is going to help those who are good in academics. Those who are not good in academics, we shall help them if they have a talent in athletism. 
if they have a talent in the arts and the uganda we have got agriculture our biggest what economic what contribute a 70 percent that is what a villager wants to hear a villager wants to hear will his children go to school will there be a school which is accessible affordable which has got quality which has got universal a villager wants to hear from my village, Rusakara Mese. Does it mean that children who go to Namagunga, they are only the best? No, they are not the best. I just wonder those who live in the UK. You know, UK, there is a few private schools. But in UK, wherever you are, a school is there. A hospital is there. But what matters, they have got policies. Those policies hinges on four issues. It must be accessible, it must be affordable, it must be quality, it must be universal. This is how we are going to manage Uganda. So the right to information is so, so important. We have to think about how, what information are we going to give to people? How are we going to attract people to other people? They are not going to like when we are fighting. Yes, there is a way like if we fight Toju Kwatako, everybody could see that. But Zaka to stand with the Amita, Anita Mongi and shake hands, it doesn't mean everything has been erased. It doesn't mean. So, fellow Ugandans, when we talk about information, information goes far. We saw Obama went into, went into power by using a text that time and a little bit Facebook. They were sending text messages. They had their targets. So NUP, we shall have to identify our targets. Obviously, it's the young people. So we had in Mobutu, the information is so important. Mobutu bought all the artists to sing songs, to praise him, to lie to people. And my neighbor used to be from Zaire. I used to ask him music because I just loved that tree. He refused. Eventually, when I knew, he said, those people they used to sing from Mobutu, those songs, the tunes, the dance, you can dance, but you people, you don't understand the words. It's like this one sing, Muzei Akaluru, Muzei Akaluru. So, other people who don't understand it, they will love the tune and dance. So, we can sing information, people, it has helped. And they guess what now? This you are not going to like it. Muho's project. I had people laughing that he's on TikTok. Muhoz is invading all ways social media because there is Muhoz projects coming. Muhoz now is telling people that he used to block to invite them to follow him or him he follows them on Facebook, on Twitter, on what? So information, so he's sending information, he's using all avenues. Very soon you know, you'll be that he's a fraud at you. So we need to counter that. We need to take our political position. How are we going to get rid of this man? How are we going to beat him off the social media? How are we going to deliver information to reach people who cannot separate? Some people, they say, Nkoye, Nkoye, Enarim. And then tomorrow he's going to vote himself. He's going to vote, he's going to vote for Muhoz. No, that is where we need this information to take it to these people and say, no, NRM being in power cannot do this. This is what you entitled for. So you have to vote for change. And people, they will have information. But those gray areas, we need to come away from those gray areas. We are being kept too much in our gray areas. Let us leave a section of people that they can be there, whatever they want to do. It's OK. It's OK. We must have parapasse. We must have propagandists. We must have these big hitters. So the information, when you look at the information, I look at this when I was in Uganda. You like it or not, the person they want is Freddie Rumbuya. For what reason? He cuts across. NRM will sit and watch him. They like it or not. In the village, they want to hear what Rumbuya said. And the next person they want, to hear from them is Bobby Wine because he's transparent. He amazes people, he inspires people. So let us elevate ourselves from the gray area.
we have to keep our, we have to think of political standards. What are the political standards? Look at our president when he went to, to what? To, to Geneva. They gave him a few minutes and he made his speech in those few minutes. When you look at how many people were there, how many, so he has gone to Geneva. Where is, what is our action? Our action is to insist to talk about uh, our president being in Geneva. What they don't want you to say, they have shut you down. Tamale Mirundi has come up with his version. Wisdom Kaya has come up with his version. Baj has come up with his version. Now, Kalakata, they are posting this. I heard there is a fight between Jessica and the what? Now, Bujingo has taken the stage. So we need to understand that. The gray area, the unprofessionalism, but our leader, they have got a duty to help people to come out of that unprofessionalism. Because I've got stats that embarrasses me that I don't even want to 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 what to to post. Because when I look at these people, as I go to their platforms, they haven't posted one day, five days. So leaders, it's your duty to give people information. If I could give you tips. Each day, at least post something happened on NUP on that day. At least say hello. At least say, say thank you. At least tell us what is going on. Tell us what did in your ministry, what did they say? Tell us what did the Rusa change say in your what, in your department? What did Museven, Janet Museven, what is happening in education? What is happening in finance? Tell us how much they want to spend. Tell us the deal. Tell us the, tell us how much the debt in Uganda. Tell us the security. Derek Nyeko, I'm on your case. There is a reason I'm on your case. When we see this Bijambia, when we see that MPs in prison, Derek Nyeko, you are for that position for security. And the numbers also is plus to that security. At this time, you should be pressing very, very hard. Very, very hard. In your position, you are entitled for information, to access that information. Why is Segrinya's case is still there? Why? So when you see, when we talk about standards, political standards. I watched it, Guti. I said, this is, this is dangerous. Dangerous! Somebody sitting in the chair as a judge, and, I, and he said, I cannot give you bail because you run out of the, your country. That is embarrassing for Ugandans. That is not what we want. So we have to put on a show. We have to show people that we are going to be different from NRA, that we are going to do different from NRA. So how do we do it? How do we do it? People, they need to see that we stand side by side. When they are going to read the budget for United Kingdom, the leader of opposition will be in line with the prime minister. They will stand by side by side. When they go to commemorate those who were dying, leader of opposition and the prime minister, they go and put a wreath. But if we continue to say, no, 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 no. Yes, there is a way we can do it. That is why we have Iraq. Emizinga baji tuwala ni baji sembeza. Toso wola kubira wala. Checho lacho laba. Nti katibano aba Ukraine. Baka mbaba genda bawe biyo kuruwa Kubanga Amerika teja biwe reza biite mubanga. Techi sovoka. We have to get closer to them. And that is what NRM is doing. Na chiba gamba. That is strategic what NRM is doing. Now Anita Mongi is the speaker of the parliament. What is her background? She comes from FDC. And why is she a speaker of the parliament? Because now she was in opposition. She has got access to opposition to buy them off, 
to invite them and attract them to NRM. This is why you can see now Semjunganda is talking wonder wonderful about Anito Mongi. That is a strategic position. This is what NRM is doing that they chose. They chose Olanya. They have other people, NRM Guru Guru, but they know that this is how they are going to attract them. This is what they do. They appoint second as a Muganda and the Baganda, they are happy. Then they appoint what Kadaga, Busoga, they are happy. Then they appoint Winodoro, Northern Uganda, they are happy. Then they have got positions. This is what Museveni is so keen on. Any position for finance. Tell him, Mumuntumulala. Matia Kasadi Avawa. Rama Van Gobi Avawa. Motabile Yari Avawa, Bank of Uganda. Any position. Echikwaragana ku finance. HM7 Yachiza Western Uganda. Then any position administration in Obichi Yaria Bizizam Northern Uganda. These are the things they are doing. Like a DP tried to attract other people, but it didn't work when they put Mao. So when we talk about politics, we have to elevate ourselves from gray area. I know this topic might not sound a little bit, you know. Yes, I understand. But somehow, somewhere. Someone will work out what I mean that we have to elevate ourselves from the gray area. Gray area, I mean from amateur to professional. When you watch football, there is amateur, then there is professionalism. You can see how a professional is. Then we have to come away from disorganization, then we become from organization. We, we become organized unit. When you're a political party, that is what they are looking at to see how organized you are. They don't mean that you stand in the line. Organization, they mean that for once, if you, they want to speak to the finance minister, uh, a shadow minister, is he, Chivumbi Ara, is available, is his contact numbers on? Can he answer something to do with the finance? Can he tell us about Enrica Penita? Our position, this is why you can see Nkunyinji is taking a policy for diaspora because it's for foreign. So we need, we need to be organized. We don't need positions, people to be satisfied. We need people to justify those positions. We need the information, the right of information. Now we have something going on. They are preparing for Hosi Muhozi what project. We have got people who say bad radicals. I don't want to hear Muhozi. I don't want to hear that. But it's there. It's in the making. The money resigned in November. His case is going to be considered 2023. And now he's going into these what they call what? Uh, what they call duties like political and they what and they slowly slowly is eating up so when they bring it to the parliament then you're gonna start arguing there is a time i told you about rise of prices for essential commodities and now everybody is complaining so we don't want to arrive when it is too late we want people who are awake who are active our members wake up our leaders nup wake up you have a duty to do. You have the phone. Why do you fear so much to post something? You sit in those cabinets. Tell us about the education. Tell us about the bill. Tell us why Minister of Health is cutting, cutting the bill. You just post it. Tell us why, how many people they have vaccinated. Tell us how much money they have gone. Tell us when they probe the rules are changed. Where is the money for we borrowed from IMF? Tell us about the security conditions. Tell us all those. Because once you give those information, people, they, they are hungry for information. They are going to feed on that information. And then that will be in their head. But if you don't give people information, don't tell them that they are being diverted. So political standards, political arguments, political debate. I repeat this example because I want people to get this. When NRM says education, then NUP, you repeat, we have got a better 
alternative. It is quad A, academics, athletics, arts, and agriculture. Bagambo mtu watali na magezi, wabani nechitone tugena mtu wala meza nyo, mkuyimba, mkatemba. O mtu utaburu wako, you can't be gifted at all. Oh, we are going to go back to agriculture that people, they know agriculture we are going to give. Then the NRM we gamba health. Ah, uh, uh, we spent it 1.7 billion. You have to spend it because it's a what? Now I'm gamba NUPA gamba rights to access health for everybody at the time of need in all areas. Then the NRM nge kugamba emirimu Nga ye gamba nepotism, emili mjaba NRM and people from Western Uganda. Then if we to gamba right for employment, we are going to create jobs for everything, for everybody. We are going to help younger entrepreneurs. We are going to invest in local business people. We are going to create jobs, the right to put people into education. We are going to look at, to prepare children from the age of 15 before they go into employment by work experience, by apprenticeship. Then NRM Jenga Jegamba housing. Fetu Zimbe We are in Soweto. We are in everywhere. No, for any pinga to gamba to gain the culata. Joe to gain the housing, social housing, affordable ngo muntu asobola okubera ko mu nyumba ngali mean tested to jewo ghetto to jewo slums. Then any pinga then in a remunge gamba or kadaga bwa exhaustion a jakwera muchopa or anya bwafa umrambo kutugutu ariya muchopa abala mwe mujaji to aya ku gali ku boda boda a afenga tuga no tukenda kola makubo tukenda kola makuba marunch with the access to kole fida roads to kolechi. That is how we are going to win over. In a rem seven inga janga gamba beti kamia. It don't stop those people for corruption because they return that money into hotels, into what? Latunga know that is theft. NUP is going to recover that money. NUP will not allow that. Money should be accounted for from Minister of Finance, Nazi distributing, from Uguni, Nezikenda into appropriate places, but not people taking money through corruption. So, Great area to Jiveko to Jen into professionalism. Sitting to do again, I'm so mellow. Put it on again and I'm gamba basuma basum. Atena mabagamba basuma, you are speaking English and you are also educated. You've got grades, you've got qualifications. So, what are you talking about? Abasuma basum. Are you one of them that you are counting yourself? And which investor is going to help our party to get into power? Gwengo Gamante Abasuma Tobagan. How is those people going to bowl us money? Ngati go gamba basuma Tobagan. Who are those people who are going to handle their money? How are they going to return in return? Eraba ya kwa gala kwa gala nori ya soma. Mse sibiriko. Neba ya kwa gala kwa gala economics. Iba ya kwa gala no mtu. How are, what deal are you going to thrust out? Beba no be mula baba no ba bufe inga wani ne mseve. Na ye eventually. But we kaku deal to help them stay in power and give them money, finance them. And but they, apart from seven, they speak to another delegation. Behind the scene, we mbanga de mujera be in a better photo shot. So let us come away from all this gray area. We need tetrina time, NUP, tetrina time, tetrina time. We want power, but we have to grow so quickly, quickly. So thank you very much, Munaba Deko. And there is a right for information. We have to look at political standards and which we are required for. Thank you very much. I take you, I take you so greatly. Thank you very much for sharing the information. Thank you very much for spending your time. Thanks very much for your comments. And uh, I'll be back. I don't know when I'll be back, but uh, I will see when I'm available. That's what I had to say. Not very exciting, but very insightful. Maybe one day we can reflect and we think about that the gray area how can we elevate you just sit down and ask yourself are we still in the gray area or we are not in the gray area example zenku are you still amateur or professionals are you organized or disorganized those are the key points that we have to 
Thank you, Sara Sara. Thank you, Sara Ogenda. Thank you, Sweeties. Thank you, Ero Prezo. Thank you, Pam Kawa. Thank you, everybody. Musa Chigato. Nina Bukirua. Dominic Baku Kasu. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can so many messages, you know? Zinyo Miranyo. Nane Mbele no Nako Rungi. Mkamawafe Abakume.